Hey class, this is a brief introductory video to the ART 100 online course for the summer semester. And I just wanted to tell you all uh, some very important things that you need to do. Uh, not only the first week of class, but throughout the semester. The first thing you need to do is to log into the course, make sure you can access the course. If you're having problems with that, let me know. But once you log in on the left hand side, is this left-hand side of the screen, you'll see uh, several buttons there. That's where you're going to access everything for the course. So at the beginning of every week um, and starting next week, you'll see new content listed and it's listed by the week and the date. You'll click on that button and you'll have things to study and assignments to complete. Uh, for almost every week, there are two assignments to complete and uh, for the weeks that we have an exam, you'll have the exam to complete. We have two exams, a midterm and a final. And all of that information is listed on the syllabus on the course calendar. So after you watch this brief video, you want to complete the first assignment that I'll tell you about in a moment. And you want to make sure you access the syllabus. It's also listed on the left-hand side of the screen. And make sure you read that in full detail, especially... Uh, all the policies relating to the course. That's really important. That's going to tell you how the course sort of operates, what to expect, and uh, sort of what's expected of you in the course. Now, your first assignment to complete is to send me an email and tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, tell me what you'd like to do or what you're studying in college. Uh, just make it brief. It doesn't have to be too long, but about a paragraph in length and make sure that you include a, a subject heading in your email and include the name that you prefer. No nicknames, please. I'll do my best to try to remember the name that you go by, uh, but if you go by something a little different, maybe middle name, that's something you want to include on your assignments that you submit as well. As far as the assignments go, there's usually a mix of quizzes that comes maybe from the material from the textbook and written assignments where you're responding to material that you've studied. For example, you might study a couple of artists and ask you to answer several questions about that artist and you'll type that out in an assignment. When you do any sort of typed assignments, it's really important that, that you're typing out your response and not somebody else's. Uh, so work in your own words uh, don't copy and paste from another source and submit it as your own. If you do that, uh, you'll earn a zero for the assignment. So I'm interested in what you think. Uh, make sure you answer the questions. Oftentimes I ask for you to provide an opinion, so make sure you do that as well. And for the exams, uh, those cover the material listed on the syllabus, so make sure you look at that. And it's usually a mix of multiple choice, true, false, and maybe some short answer. Uh, but the midterm covers everything up to that point, and then you kind of reset so that the final covers everything after the midterm up until the final. Uh, as far as other policies that are important, the weekly assignments that we do cannot be made up if you happen to miss one. Uh, for you have the whole week to complete an assignment from Monday mid-morning-ish all the way up until Sunday 11.59 p.m. So you have plenty of time to complete an assignment. Don't wait until the last minute. Try to get those done early in the week. And if you have a problem with any of the content or you have a problem submitting an assignment, we have time to work that out. Now, if you do happen to miss an assignment, it's not the end of the world. I do offer a lot of bonus work, bonus opportunities for you to make up for those missed points. So make sure you look also on the left-hand side of the screen. For the bonus section where I post things uh, from time to time, activities that you can complete for extra points. You might want to do those anyway. I think that they'll help to enrich your uh, experience in the class, but you can earn some extra points there if you need them. Let's see other things. Uh, I guess I'll tell you a few things about me. Aside from being a teacher, I've taught for uh, 17 years, I think. I uh, also have three children, which is the cause of having no hair on my head and gray hair here. And I'm also an artist, as you can see here behind me. Um, so I stay busy with art 
And I tell you those things to say that if you contact me, I do the best I can to get back to you in as short amount of time as possible. But if you don't hear back from me, definitely let me know. Give me about 24 hours or over the weekend if you send a message on a Friday. Um, but if you don't hear back, let me know so I can get your answer. questions answered. Uh, I'm not in the business of ignoring students and their questions. So that's about it for the intro. Uh, just a quick wrap up. Make sure you read the syllabus in full, especially the course policies and all the stuff on the calendar. Do your first assignment. Send me an email message. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, try to get ahead on some bonus work. We won't start with the course content with chapter one until next Monday. So you've got some, a few days to do that first initial assignment and maybe do uh, a bonus assignment as well. And I think that's it. So welcome to the course. If you have any questions, please let me know.